This special segment of the American Farriers Association's No Foot, No Horse is brought to you by Vibram. With proven technology and a rich 70-year history, Vibram offers farriers uniquely engineered hoof pads that capitalize on the superior resilience of rubber. I like the Vibram because it actually goes into the sole. It absorbs shock. When a horse hits the ground, that pad absorbs the shock, but it also forms to the sole of the foot. It does support the foot better than a hard pad. We've asked certified journeyman farrier David Edens to join us again today. Oftentimes as farriers, we're asked to apply pads to a horse's foot, either a recommendation by the veterinarian, the owner, the trainer, and sometimes recommended by the farrier themselves. David, when does a horse need to have a pad? The main reasons are for protection, like trail riding, um, and showing for gait enhancement, and various therapeutic reasons. So how does a pad enhance the gait? Well, it'll add length to the foot, and this gives the horse more motion for the type of showing they're doing. So uh, therapeutic applications, are those typically recommended by a veterinarian or, or yes, the farrier? Typ typically they are, but sometimes the farrier will see hoof abnormalities, a low heel, they might put a, a wedge pad and various reasons like that. And sometimes just for protection, trail rides, that sort of thing? Sure, a lot of horses need protection. You could have a horse with good feet, but if it's on real rocky ground, just occasionally used on the trails, they might need pads temporarily. Um, a horse that has soft feet because it's in a stable environment, their feet might not be toughened up, and maybe they just have thin soles. So when they go out on a real long trail ride for a couple of days, um, temporary pads uh, really help, just shielding them for one one period, one six weeks period. Preventative maintenance. Right. I see you've brought a few samples of the literally dozens of pads on the market. Uh, how many do you think there are different types? Oh, uh, there's no telling. There's hundreds. Um, they come out with new ones all the time. These are some thin synthetic pads. These are just a regular old thin pad uh, you might use for a trail ride. It's very thin, goes between the shoe and the hoof, and it doesn't add a lot of length to the foot. Um, now, this is an example of a therapeutic fat pad. You can give a lot of heel support, put it in a, in a shoe, and make it like an egg bar shoe. Um, this is an example of, a, of just a plain old leather pad. Leather's real good. It, it breezes naturally, keeps the foot pretty dry, and uh, it's been used for centuries, and they still used every day. Also, on uh, walking horses, and maybe Arabians, they'll, they'll build up a stack of these and, so you can have more length on the horse's foot to enhance their gait. Um, here's an example of a, of a heart bar wedge pad, a heart, uh, frog support wedge pad. And this is thicker in the heel. This will raise the angle of the foot to maintain the hoof pastern angle if the horse has some uh, broken back hoof pastern axis conformation. What's the, what's the advantage of the, the frog support area of these two? That's to give more caudal support to, to the back of the foot. Um, a horse has a weak frog, run down heels, needs some more support in that area, and this will help. I've seen uh, racing plates with a polyurethane pad actually built into the shoe itself. What instances would a, would a rimmed pad like that, rather than a full coverage pad, be an advantage? Uh, rim pads, they do a lot for shock absorption and sometimes they'll have a, a rim type pad for uh, snow to keep the snow from balling up in the bottom of the horse's uh, horseshoe. Mm -hmm. So I've seen, I've also seen uh, uh, liquid pads, shoe the foot, squirt the liquid in, hold it up, it sets up. Is there advantages or disadvantages of that over something like this? Well, they're a lot more shock absorption. They uh, support the whole bottom of the foot. They, they distribute the weight equally across the bottom of the foot. Um, they stick right to the sole of the horse's foot, and they don't allow any debris to get in there. Um, they're not as economical, but they're quick, and a lot of times they provide uh, enough support where some uh, lameness issues are solved that way. I noticed the one you have in your hand, you have 
rivets at the heel. What is that a typical way to attach a pad to a shoe? Yes, this is a typical, typical application. Um, keeps the pad in place, keeps it from shifting around. The shoe always needs to be bigger as it comes out. It needs to maintain the same angle as the foot. It needs to be a little bit wider than the foot and, and the pad. You don't want the, the foot to overgrow the pad or the shoe. And you don't want the hoof angle to come down and then the pad to come straight down. You want to keep maintaining that angle. So if you're asked to, to pad up a horse or you decide to pad up a horse, is that a lifelong commitment for that horse? Does he need to wear pads forever from there on out? No, it sure doesn't. A lot of people think that once you put a pad on a horse that they're you know, waking up their feet or something, they have to use them forever, but they don't. Um, you might just need them for one trail ride. And uh, the best way to tell if, if the horse doesn't have a need for them anymore is to try them without them for a six week period and see how they do. And sometimes a horse might have got sore and need them for, you know, a couple of resets and then after that they'll be fine. If you have a horse that's got a say a sole bruise or an abscess can you put a pad on that one foot and leave the other one alone or do you have to put them on in pairs? Well you can put them on if he's just staying in a, a stall not being used but normally they're they're being applied in pairs because the horse needs the same kind of feel on both the feet. Very good. David thank you very much for your time. Thank you. If you have any questions about anything you've learned on today's show, feel free to contact us via email. Log on to our website, www.nofootnohorse.org. Take hoof care to a new level. Ask for Vibram Hoof Pads by name.